Hi everyone, I'm Peter. In this video, we're going to look at a tool called Google Takeout. Now, unfortunately, Google Takeout doesn't actually let you order takeout like pizza, but what it does let you do is take all of your files and emails from your school or college Google Workspace for Education account and transfer all those onto another Google account. That other Google account could be a personal Google account or it could be a Google account at another school, college, or university. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is check that you are signed in to the account where you want to transfer the information from. After you've done that, you just need to select your account picture and select Manage your Google account. This opens up a new tab, and if we scroll down a little bit, you'll notice we have an option here called Transfer your content. So if we press Start Transfer, and it's now taken us to takeout.google.com slash transfer. And now we're on this page, it's just worth double checking that we are signed in with the account which we want to transfer information from. And then after you've done that, we need to enter the address where you want to transfer the information to. Now this could be a personal Google account, or it could be a Google account at another school, college, or university. So in this example, I'm going to enter an address of a personal Google account. And then after entering that address, I just need to press send code to verify that I do own this account. So now I just need to switch over to my Gmail tab with my personal Google account loaded. And there we've got the verification email. And let's press get confirmation code. And now we need just to copy this code back into this box and then press verify. Now we're almost good to go. It's just confirming the details before we start the transfer. So here on the left-hand side, we've got the account we're transferring from, which is my college account. And over on the right-hand side here, I've got my personal account where I want to transfer the information to. Below here, I can select whether I just want to transfer my Google Drive content, Gmail, or both. And there's also a message to say here that people I've shared files with will still have access to the originals after the transfer. And if you'd like to find out more about the transfer process, just press the learn more link here to find out more details. Okay, so I'm happy with all those settings. So now let's press start transfer. I then need to type in my password again, just to check it is me. So this is the password for my source account where we're transferring the information from. And that's it, our transfer is now in progress and it's just letting us know it could take up to a week for the transfer to complete. And we'll get an email once it's successfully finished. This option works really well if you're transferring Google Drive or Gmail content from one Google account to another Google account. But what if you wanted to transfer that content to an account which isn't a Google account? And plus, this transfer option only works with Gmail and Google Drive. You might also have things in your calendar or Google Photos which you want to take with you. So there is a way of doing this. I'm going to open up a new tab now. And now let's go to takeout.google.com and hit enter. And in this version of Google Takeout, I can actually download all of my content in my Google account instead of transferring it to another account. So if we scroll down here, you can see absolutely everything which is associated with my Google account. So I've got my Google Calendar, Chrome bookmarks and history, Google Classroom information, contacts, Google Drive, of course, and the list goes on. So in this case, I've already transferred my Google Drive and also my Gmail. So I'm going to unselect both of those options and I'm going to leave everything else selected. So now if we scroll right down to the bottom, and let's select next step. And now I've got a few more decisions to make. So delivery method, first of all. So by default, it will send a download link to my email. Alternatively, I can add it to Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, or Box. But in this case, let's go with the default option. I can also select the frequency, so either export it once or every two months for a year. I can select file type. Let's leave that as a zip file. And if it's a larger export, you can choose to split it up into multiple files, but let's leave that as two gigabytes. And now let's select Create Export. And as soon as our export is ready, we just need to press Download to download it to our computer. Well, I hope this video was useful for you, and if you've got any questions, and please do get in touch. Thanks for watching.